I love it. You have the same dance with this. I love it. (laughs) So many brave souls take on Pinterest projects but end up feeling like complete failures. But not if we can help it. Today on Pin Pals, we are here to rescue you to help you tackle yarn balls. Yarn balls. Mm -hmm. Because that's just fun to say, really. (laughs) I'm told that these can be tricky, maybe a little tedious sometimes, but we're going to show you today that it's possible and they can be done. Or in your own words, how bef- in the commercial break, you said uh, this was kind of a hot mess when you were starting to do it last night. <laughs> As you'll notice, which I'm kind of feeling like you don't trust me, Carly, because uh, oh, we have I on this was morning. instructed to wear aprons <laughs> on this episode of Pin Pals. The last time we tried this with making um, kind of bowls out of with balloons. Similar. We used chocolate. And it did not end up so well. I don't remember that. Oh, I don't remember yeah. that at all. Mm-hmm. Let me remind you, there was chocolate <laughs> everywhere in the studio and all over us. But that's all right. We're not uh, messing with chocolate uh, okay. this time. So hopefully this will be a little bit cleaner. These are DIY string balloons. Okay. And kind of the idea, you just saw the, the picture of what it's supposed to look like there. There's a lot of uh, uh, fails <laughs> on Pinterest. This is a pinstrosity. Uh. But as you can see, they're gorgeous at the top. You can maybe add lights to them, uh, Christmas lights inside, make them lights, make them lanterns, maybe even do a nice centerpiece. Not that one. That's not a good centerpiece. But yeah, it looks like a cobweb. What's going on there? The Maybe problem. white wasn't a good color choice. I'm gonna, yeah, let's blame it on the color. A lot of people do have trouble making these. So we, we like to do things live here on Pin Pals. Uh-oh. This one had to dry overnight, so I did have to do, do a couple of steps it. ahead of time. But here's the idea. So you get your yarn. Okay. And uh, choose any color... No, see, no, that's not a really good uh, representation right there, what we're looking at. <laughs> uh, you've got your balloons. I found some, which I thought these were just adorable. Polka dot balloons. I didn't know Did you have anything. any idea? And we're going to blow these up. Oh, boy. Maybe to a little bit. You can go ahead Having and start. Having flashbacks. <laughs> start, uh, did have, this is how it started last time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. we're going to blow these up, maybe different sizes. You might want, not want to make them maybe about this size, not too okay. big, because I think it's probably easier to wrap that way. And so, perfect. And then you're going to tie off the end of the balloon. I'm going to let you blow this one up because i got to get mixing okay. over here. you do that. And uh, we've got a supplies list of what you're going to need. I just realized I forgot the, wa- <laughs> forgot the water. <laughs> okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to need water first of all. Can we get one of our camera guys to get water real quick? Yeah, can we fill this up here? Oh, Pert, look. Oh, he's, look. He's standing water, come by. Come on in, Alex. Oh. A little dusty in here. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay, let's fill this up. You're going to need a half cup of <laughs> What would we do without Where's this? Alex hand? <laughs> a half cup of water. You're going to pour this into a bowl. Okay. I'm not really suggesting you're going to use a nice kitchen bowl like I did. <laughs> so you're going to fill this up with water. Uh, another kitchen product you're going to need is cornstarch. Okay. I don't know why you need the cornstarch. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why you need cornstarch with the water and the glue, why you just can't put glue on it. I have no idea. It's the consistency. I'm There's something say, about yeah, the consistency. Something with the consistency. So you're going to fill up the water and your cornstarch and all of this you can get at your craft store except, okay. except maybe the cornstarch you might, not, might might have to go to Publix for that and then you're gonna get Elmer's glue look how much see I'm glad yeah I'm uh-huh. really, yeah. <laughs> I use yours I'm really <laughs> glad we've got aprons this oh, time boy. so you just take the Elmer's glue and you're gonna dump this into the bowl with the water and with the cornstarch now this did get a little messy so I suggest a you either do it over a sink mm-hmm. So or B, really stand back and just let the other host do it. He doesn't trust me. <laughs> okay, so either over sink or maybe lay out. I've got wax paper here. Yes, maybe, I did see you um, prepared this. That's maybe good. you want uh, maybe some newspaper on a table. That could work, too. It is glue, so it can get a little sticky, a okay. little messy. So I'm using a plastic spoon here. I didn't want to use anything too nice. And I'm just mixing this up. This is going to be a nice, sticky, gluey messy consistency. Okay. Is it uh, supposed to be pretty thick or is it going to be pretty thin and watery? It's kind of a medium consistency. Okay. You don't want it too watery. I probably could use a little more glue okay. in, in this mixture here. And then you're going to take the yarn and I wasn't instructed, I was instructed to just kind of drop this into the bowl. This is how they were doing it. Mm-hmm. And you need a lot because you're going to keep going around the balloon okay, so and you're going to wrap it. You soak the yarn. You want to soak it. And then you're going to, I'm just going to cut it so we can get going on okay. this. But So what you want to do is you want to drench the yarn. And like I said, the, the way that this gets messy is you're constantly drenching this. And you've got to pull it off and kind of soak it off. But then it wads up. Ah. So you just, you got to be careful. So okay. So here's what we're going to do. This is the wax paper. So this is essentially what you did. Right. You, you wrap got this about around. 30 seconds left. This is where it gets really, really messy. Okay, you're wrapping this. This okay. is a little tricky to stay on. It can look... Kind of a hot mess, as we were talking okay. about. So once you've got all that done... But you can really have fun with it, though, right? I mean, you don't yeah. need to necessarily... Yeah. I mean, it looks like even if it's messy, it could still work. 
part problem is that it gets, it gets sticky. So okay. yeah, well, hopefully it works. So this is what I'm going to let you do the honors. Okay. You've got a pair of scissors oh, here. Boy. This is so where it went we've got to pop time. the balloon to see if this actually did work. So I'm okay, gonna, so, I'm gonna, so see if it'll stay together. Yeah, and you said stand back and let yep. the other host do it, right? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that might actually. This is pretty cool. Now the trick okay, will be because oh yeah, how do we get that Pulling out? the balloon. Let's see if we okay. It's supposed to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> it stays yeah, together. Now I guess bad. the trick will be to see like in an hour. So maybe at the end of the show we'll stay. We'll Leave see it. if it still is in this round. Yeah. Hey, this one turned out this okay. Should, Check this out. Yeah, this should be one to do outside. Can we get an applause on this episode of Pen Pals? Yeah. I think this is okay, right? Where's our applause button? <laughs> I don't hear it. I Yay! Don't know. <laughs> There we go. Works. It's pretty. Like I said, I'll be interested to know if in an hour if it, it still, still lasts. holds this shape. Okay, well we'll check in. A, we'll check, check in back later. In. Mm -hmm. But I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I think we you deserve don't mind the for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Fun crafts for the kids. Jim, this man is a Soviet spy. Allegedly. Come on, counselor. All right, in the shadow of war, one man showed the world what we stand for. Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks are together again. We take a look at the film coming to DVD this week, Bridge of Spies.